Back of Chicago, 1690 WVON, Minister Louis Farrakhan on the Cliff Kelly Show, and we are going right back to the call. Let's go to uh, Ray, University Park. Thank you, Ray. Uh, how you doing? Assalamu alaikum, brother minister. Wa alaikum salam, sir. Uh, before I get into my question, I'd just like to thank you because I've always considered you to be my spiritual father, and any way that I move or walk, I try to uh, walk in your light. Thank you so much. And uh, my question is on the uh, evolution, or what I would call the de-evolution of black nationalism. Uh, last night, the National Geographic Network had a special on the new Black Panthers, and it was absolutely terrible. And it was just designed to turn brothers and sisters off to the concept of black nationalism. And uh, my question is, what can we do to bring new ideas to uh, forward the evolution of black nationalism, hopefully the creation of an economic black nation so we can work with others on an equal basis by bringing more uh, control into our community. And I'll listen for my answer. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your call. Thank you. Excellent. There's no way that in the present climate in America and the world that the nationalist idea that um, was promulgated by the right honorable Marcus Mosiah Gavi, Noble Drew Ali, and uh, others uh, is irrelevant. It's quite relevant. But the honorable Elijah Muhammad, one day after a book was written about the nation of Islam called uh, Black Nationalism, um, and the honorable Elijah Muhammad said, Brother, they call me a black nationalist. And then he paused and he said, brother, black is not national. Black is universal. For everything started in darkness and then came out into the light. I didn't fully understand the depth of what my teacher was saying, but as time went on, I began to see, look, the Bible says from one blood came all human beings. Blood is the life force of some living thing. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad said to us that all the races came from the original black man. So if we are to rise into power, these that came from us are out of order because we are in a condition of mental, moral, spiritual, social, economic, and political death. So when we rise up to be ourselves as black men and women and do for ourselves what we should do, then it is natural then that we will do for those that came from us because they are our children and they are out of order because we are not ourselves. So rise up, black man and woman, and be yourself. As the Bible says, the first will be last and the last will be first. And the Christ says, I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending. And we are the beginning of all civilization. And this one is ending. And God has chosen us to be the beginning of a brand new world that will be what is called heaven on earth, not just for black people, but for all those that came from us who are called mankind. Minister Louis Farrakhan, I'm Cliff Kelly. This is the Talk of Chicago, 1690 WVON. We're streaming live at www.wvon.com. You can see us and hear us. And again, you can watch the uh, on Sunday, 10 a.m. Chicago time. You can watch the webcast at www.noi, for Nation of Islam, noi.org. We'll be back with more in a moment. I'm Cliff Kelly. This is the Talk of Chicago, 1690 WVON. CEDA, the Community and Economic Development Association of Cook County, is hosting its next pre-stimulus workshop on Saturday. This is a, indeed a wonderful day because the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan even considered to stay over with us a little longer. Unfortunately, 
Today we get off early. I want to say unfortunately because I would have tried to keep him till seven. <laughs> but he says when I told him six twenty-three, he said, "Okay, I can do that." So thank you, brother minister. You're thank wonderful. Thank you, sir. You're wonderful. A couple of things we need to uh, discuss. You were talking about that the uh, the nation is involved in some things on the on the southeast side. Uh, the nation has been ever since I have known anything about what, you know, do for self and all the other things we're talking about, is exactly what we should be doing, obviously, if we're going to be accountable. But also, the situation with education. The nation's got this great school. The, the young people, I've been there, the young people are manifold. They know what they're talking about. They're educated. They're articulate. How can we spread this sort of thing? Because we, we, we have to, to save ourselves. First, um, That's a lot. But no, it I, isn't, mm -hmm. uh, Cliff, mm -hmm. because what good is it if uh, I have a house that is, uh, there's no fire in it, but there's a fire next door and a wind is blowing. So if I don't help my neighbor to put the fire out on his house, mm -hmm. soon mine is gone. What good does it do for me to send my children to a charter school or to a good private school or to the Muslim school and leave the Chicago public schools in the condition mm -hmm. that they are in? Our children have to interact with the children that are coming out of the public school system. So if our children are not powerful enough to change them, they are powerful enough to change our children. So it doesn't matter what's good at Muhammad University or at the charter schools uh, that are run by our great brother Haki Madabuti mm -hmm. and others, but we have got to affect the public school system, not only of Chicago, but everywhere where our children are going to school. And that's why we're talking about a comprehensive plan that puts in the public schools a curriculum that engages the children's mind and raises them in consciousness. If that doesn't happen, these children that people think are stupid or dumb because they walked out of school, but they'll sit in front of a computer and it will capture their attention for hours on end. And these children are so fast with their hands. Why does the computer and games attract our children's mind and what is being taught in the schools they reject? It is because what they're being taught has uh, passed its time. It is of very little value. So when you tell the children, well, stay in school and get an education so they can end up like you, non-productive. With all the degrees that we have, we are the most non-productive people in America. With PhDs, master degrees, doctors of law, doctors of divinity, but we produce nothing to satisfy the needs of our people. That is a, a, a sure condemnation of the way we have been taught. So I hope that we can advance to the public school system something that the Honorable Elijah Muhammad gave us that lifted us that will lift all the children in the public schools if we were given that chance.